Men have an average height of 69 inches and a standard deviation of 2.8 inches. If Shaquille O'Neal stands at 85 inches tall, is his height unusual? Why? Okay, when I read this problem, I want to think about the question that's being asked here at the end, where it says, is his height unusual? One of the ways that we can judge if something is unusual is by looking at it in terms of its z-score. A z-score is a reflection of how many standard deviations a number is away from the mean. So the formula, if you remember, is going to be z is equal to x minus the mean over sigma. So this is kind of the formula we used back in those theorems, Chebyshev's theorem and empirical rule. It's the same formula we used for k, essentially, where x just represents the number you want to convert into a z-score. So the reason why we're doing this is we want to say, okay, you know, Shaquille O'Neal's height of 85 inches, you know, how far away from the mean is it first? And then we're going to express that distance in terms of standard deviations. So by dividing it into standard deviations, we'll be able to tell how many standard deviations it is above average. Now we basically have this simple rule which says that, you know, once you start to get above two or three standard deviations away from the mean or below two or three standard deviations away from the mean, once you get outside of that range, we tend to think that something is unusual. So it's a simple scale. We're simply going to say, look, on the number line, if this is a z-score number line, anything to the left of negative two, so negative three, negative four, dot, 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 and anything higher than positive two, so that'd be three, four, dot, 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 anything outside of that range or in that range in red is going to represent something that's unusual. The stuff here in the middle, you know, zero, one above, one below, that stuff is generally seen to be as pretty typical or normal. Anything outside starts to become unusual. Now, it depends on the distribution, of course, but we know that even under the worst case scenario, if you're dealing with um, something that's more than two standard deviations above the mean, we know that that span from negative two to two captures no less than 75% of the data. So certainly anything above or below could be at most 25% of the population, right? And we know this because Chebyshev's theorem tells us that. If you happen to have a bell curve distribution, two standard deviations will capture 95% of the data. So essentially all we have to do in this problem is to convert Shaquille O'Neal's height into a z-score. Once we do that, we'll know if it's unusual or not. Okay, so let's do that then. Let's go ahead and put his height into the z-score formula. So his height is 85 inches. I'm going to plug that in here for x. And then the mean is given as 69. That's the average height for men. And the standard deviation is 2.8. And from there, we'll work out the numbers. Okay, so if I enter those values into my calculator, we'll have 85 minus 69 divided by 2.8. And the result turns out to be 5.71 dot dot dot. So it repeats, it goes on and on. But the point is, is that 5.71 is definitely clearly within the span on this number line that would be considered unusual. So we're gonna go ahead and say that Shaquille O'Neal is unusual tall. So the answer is um, yes, his height is unusual. And the reason why is because it is over five standard deviations above average. So he is actually unusually tall, of course, right? He's not unusually short, he's unusually tall.